It is Scompy again, again, again. Echo. All right, enough fooling around here. I've got my cornet meter. I've got another game console. I've got stuff for my game console. Uh, anyway, this is interesting. This is a very interesting thing. So I'm going to turn on my cornet meter here. So my cornet is again reading at 0 0.000. 000 0 0.005 micro, um, sorry, milliwatts per square meter. I don't know, I'm in a very weird mood right now. Uh, yeah, so here's my game console. It's just pegging there at the same same rate. I'll uh, put it in different modes so you can see close up. That's my number, very low, super low, awesome. Now, another thing you need to see is this is the core, this is the power supply for it. And the cord plugs in right here, and it's unplugged at the moment. Now, here's the interesting part. I go here, and I plug in. It's plugged in now. This console's plugged in. You can see the light just turned on there. Actually, I will unplug it so you can see. Okay, unplug. Look at the light. It should go right out. Okay, light's out. I'll plug it back in again. <laughs> All right, plugged it back in. Light comes on. Now, what would you expect? The game console is off. Whoa, what is happening? What? The game console is off. All I did was I plugged in that. Okay, so you can see from a distance here that the yellow like spiking. I'm going to unplug. You can see here, that's where the plugs, plugs at. I wish I could get both at the same time so you can see the plug in at the same time. But I'm going to unplug it from the wall and I'm gonna count down here. I'm gonna actually zoom in so you can see it. Okay, I'm holding the plug in my, in my hand here. And I'm going to unplug the console. Three, two, one, unplug. Now we have to wait about three, two, one, bam, gone. Because that's how long it takes for the power supply to turn off its energy. I'll show it to you again. All right, so I will plug in. Uh-oh, I've got... I've got Loki attached to my camera from earlier. So here's my hand. I'm about to plug it in. Let's look at the console when I'm about to, okay, I'm three, two, one, plug it in. Ugh, bam. 10 milliwatts per square meter radio frequency EMF coming out of it and the console's not on. Wow, why is it doing that? Well, it's doing that because it's actively searching for your controllers, your wireless controllers. But what's more interesting is I have my meter just sitting next to the console. What if I were to bring it closer? Okay, that's less, that's less, that's more, that's more, that's a lot more. Ah, sorry about that. Ooh, what, what, 25, what, what, 34, what? I'm like right up next to it. 38, the system is off. You wouldn't think that there'd be any RF coming out of this thing, right? No RF coming out of this thing, but because it's plugged in, what the heck? Okay, so this time I'm going to unplug it Okay, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna unplug it and keep it on the, the, here, I'm gonna hold the power supply here so you can see it. Actually, I could probably do this at the same time. I could show you the power supply. Let's see if I can get it in the video. Let's see, show you the power supply light. But I need multiple hands here. This is gonna be difficult. I wanna show you the, the light and the, the thing at the same time. It's gonna be hard to do, but I'll, I'll do it so you can you can kind of see what's going on. I'll do it in stages. 
So I'm gonna, again, unplug. I'm gonna unplug it. And remember there was like a two second lag before that, before this went away. So I'm gonna unplug it right now. Three, two, one, unplug. So it's about one, two, three, off. Bam, should go off, there it goes. I'm gonna plug it back in. It'll be one, two, three, back on again. Okay, three, two, one. Oh, actually you just plug it in. I just unplugged it. Okay, I'm gonna plug it back in again. Comes right back on. I'm being zapped with RF right in front of me. Let's look at the light. I'm gonna unplug it. You can see three, two, one, off. Plug it back in. Goes right back on. Pl unplug it right now. Three, two, one, off. Bam. Plug it back in. See, when you plug it back in, it immediately comes on. Like this. When you unplug it, three, two, one, off. Bam, off. Back to background radiation levels. And then I'm gonna plug it in immediately. Bam, right back again. So this guy, you have the entire unit off. It's all off, but it's outputting radio frequency. So you have to unplug these things to get rid of your radio frequency. How many people would think there's energy that's pulsing through your room when your console's off. Well, only people that have a meter that have the ability to investigate these things are gonna find out what's really going on around you. So what I typically do is, here's my setup. I have my TV, my uh, console over here. And what I'll do is as I'm actively playing it, as you can see, I've got hardwired controls here so it so instead of using wireless controllers i hardwire my controllers so you don't get any you're not touching any radio you know it's all hard, hardwired you don't have any radio frequency directly that you're getting really close to directly but still there's the problem i have it i have it plugged in over there but even let's say i'm like two feet away and i go up close here I'm two feet away playing and it's still at 0.4, still at unhealthy levels. If I were like, let's say I'm gonna go back to here. This is normally, okay, this is at my couch. At my couch, not too bad. But see, now the radio frequency is bouncing around the room in various places. So instead of being at background levels at like 0.0005, it's just, the, the way the reflection works is the as the energy dissipates, it kind of like bounces around off of everything and slowly gets absorbed by materials or reflected off of materials. So you'll see this number just like, you know, bouncing around, like I'm pretty far away from it bouncing around, bouncing around, but you never know, you could get hit here and there with, you know, stuff that's getting absorbed through you. I mean, this is pretty background stuff. It's here, this is in my opinion, nothing to worry about, but it might be something to worry about if you're playing the, a game console with your Wi-Fi, you know, controller, where you're actively touching and creating the beam between yourself. Um, you're drawing the energy right <laughs> into you. So even though it's far away, I'm registering the console far away at pretty minimal levels. If I'm actively playing the game with the with the controller, it's almost like, it's literally like being on a cell phone or even worse. So, but if you hardwire it and then you back away from your controller, or I'm sorry, your console, and then you do a little trick here, what I do, is I actually turn my entire unit away from where you're playing. So it's going to, like literally the RF is being pushed into the wall first, hitting the wall, getting more absorption into the wall. And by the time it reflects back, it's coming back at you with less intensity. So if you look at now my controller here, or my uh, EMF detector, again, instead of being like hitting into 0.002s, I'm only now into 0.001 stuff or even less. And well, maybe not. I mean, I'm kind of hitting still all over the place. I mean, the thing is generating RF. So it's going to reflect around 
um, maybe give you less direct exposure when it's turned around. I don't have to have my console pointed at me anyway. I mean, it's it's looking for signal for that you know wireless signal, but there's no way I can shut down it trying to search for the wireless signal, even though I've got my controllers hardwired to the thing. So the best recommendation here if you are if you have concerns about RF exposure over time is get your game playing in bursts um, play hard, play wired to your console play a good distance away from your console and have the console potentially um, pushed away like a different direction from you and you're just pretty much mitigating you're minimizing the RF directly striking you at that point um, just some some thoughts uh, if you, you got to play your games so just want to share that uh, hope you enjoyed uh, seeing like what's going on with different game consoles and uh, maybe in the future they're gonna wise up get smart people that that champion in my opinion the people that champion you know having a hardwired connection where you can completely shut down your Wi-Fi in your console at least gives the consumer an option to say hey I personally want to make a decision to say I want you know I am I have a concern about it or I might have a sensitivity to the Wi-Fi and to the RF EMF exposure so I have the ability to still play my games without one shred of worry because I can shut down the RF but when that day happens will be the day that game companies will have to kind of outright admit um, a liability in my opinion to saying you know RF could be a problem with people um, maybe biological studies will show this in the future um, more hands down than than more random uh, as it is today until we get the the really solid evidence in my opinion where it's just like hitting companies over the head saying you know this is our this is today this is the modern asbestos issue of our day is all this excess rf flying around in the air when people can legitimately you know show the science and repeat the science and and it's it's really strong out there in the community and there's you know beyond a shadow of a doubt which in my opinion it is already exists beyond a shadow of doubt right today here and now I mean just common sense but and, and not out of fear it's just common sense of your pulsing energy through the air that you can detect with meters and the um, intensity can be detected as well as the you know the distance and everything else with it so the health effects um, you know that's where that's where people will at some point uh, really nail down uh, to the general public what's going on uh, there's a lot of information out there right now that exists that you can educate yourself on when it comes to this kind of stuff alright I think the video is done now have a good one